Hey guys, this is Deepika here and welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, we would be exploring Gulmarg and my first snow experience here. So stay tuned for further updates. We had left Pahalgaon at around afternoon and had reached Gulmarg in the evening and this actually is the main reason I wanted to visit Kashmir because I wanted to see snow capped mountain and was advised that Kashmir is the best place to visit to have the snow capped mountain visited but to keep you informed there is another scam where there are tourist guide who uh, pre-booked tickets to these particular places where there is snow that's phase one and phase two and uh, you might have to have a guide hired to visit these places so it is always advisable to uh, get in touch with the hotel that you're staying or any of the tourist guide who might be able to help you either to book a right guide or to have more details provided to you just in case we had booked our hotel here in Gulmarg at the Shoyan Hotel. So this was quite a comfortable stay except for the Wi-Fi which was completely bad, did not have proper signal. So this is the room that we had stayed. We actually had booked a conjoined room which had two rooms interconnected and this ambience was cozy with complete wood. It had a huge bed. A seating area and a mirror and also it had a heater by the side so this particular place is the washroom even this particular washroom was quite spacious for this room it had a separate dry area and a wet area a mirror a hand sink and the WC so the wet area had basic amenities also provided So it had toothpaste, toothbrush, a soap. So this is the shower area. It had towel and other basic amenities provided. So moving to the other room, this was the other room where my friend stayed. It had a double bed again, a seating area and a mirror here too. So it had a television and a heater here. So the white uh, you know, box is the heater. So it had a washroom here in this room also, but this was comparatively compact. It had a dry area and a wet area also. So the basic amenities was provided here, like shampoo, toothpaste and brush and things like that. It had a hand wash, mirror, and towels being provided and this is the shower area So the first room had a wardrobe here. So this is the wardrobe. It had a locker and some blankets. And it had an attached balcony also. And the view from the balcony was amazing. So this actually had a wooden cozy feel here 
and right outside it had an amazing view of lush green uh, you know uh, ambience outside and the uh, you know mountain or the snow cap mountain rather was found at a distance here So we actually had reached this particular boarding point for the gondola to reach phase one. So we had hired another guide who was, uh, you know, referred by the hotel that we stayed, and uh, we had uh, thought not many people would be there, but if you see, the crowd was completely packed. So there were many people who had visited this particular place, and the gondola ride was completely full. And these are the gondolas that would be taking you to phase one. And the view outside was absolutely amazing. Uh, the view from the boarding point to phase one, at least when the time uh, we had visited, was lush green. It was not uh, filled with snow. But if you are visiting this place somewhere around December, all these pine trees and the green places that you see on the screen will be completely covered with snow. So after our gondola ride to phase one, we had reached this particular place, but unfortunately there was no snow in phase one and we had to reach phase two uh, to, uh, you know, to see snow. So this is the place we will have to be, uh, you know, boarding for phase two. So in case you are visiting around November, December, this particular place would be completely filled with snow and it wouldn't need, for, you know, there wouldn't be a need for you to reach phase two. So after the second gondola ride, we were about to reach the phase two path. So this is how the phase two path is. After a certain point, it actually was amazing where we were completely engulfed by this particular mist or cloud, whatever this is. And we were not able to see as to what exactly is happening outside as it was completely covered in mist. So this is how it looked, a 360 degree view where we were not able to see anything around. So finally we reached the phase 2 area here and had deboarded the gondola ride and this particular experience was absolutely amazing so stay tuned for the updates here. So we finally reached on top of uh, phase 2 so we've reached phase 2 at the moment. Uh, phase 1 there was not much snow and we actually have come here to phase 2 if you see there is enough snow here. I actually didn't trek up. You actually have an option to, uh, you know, trek up. Uh, you have sledges that actually take you up. Uh, I've covered my face because it's like super cold and my face is just going too dry. So I will, you know, update you about how how beautiful this place is after I explore it. We have just reached the place here. So I had an amazing time here in the snow though I did not go uh, too far. The ice is like super slippery so you can either take a sledge, there's uh, you know sledges that's available so you would be able to take a sledge to actually reach the top. It seems there are a few points on top so you actually can uh, take a sledge. Uh, there is uh, skiing activities and uh, snow biking and things like that on top so I have actually stayed right in the entrance here because you know I wasn't taking the skiing option 
and also it's super slippery so i am possibly like returning back but nevertheless this particular time that i spent here was amazing i clicked a few really amazing pictures so yeah my time here was seriously worth and about the charges as to how much it might cost and things like that uh, the charges for phase 1 is 750 and charges for phase 2 from phase 1 is 950 and you'll have to be purchasing both the tickets in case you want to reach phase 2 uh, there is no snow in phase 1 so you will only have to be reaching phase 2 in case you want to uh, you know play in snow and have snow activities and things like that here so this is the view of this place from the place where i am here so if you go much higher so if you go much higher there in the sledge so uh, possibly there will be two three people who would like pull you up there and take you and uh, it's in there is a few points there uh, you know that you can possibly visit So after an amazing time here in Gulmarg phase 2 I had reached the boarding point to go down back to the hotel so right when we had reached this particular boarding point it started snowing and this was the first time I was uh, witnessing snowfall so this was an amazing experience and unfortunateness was that the entire gondola ride was stopped because of the weather condition and was resumed only after the snowfall So once the gondola ride was resumed we had reached back Gulmarg and had checked out at the hotel so that we can move to the next destination so for further videos do like share and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my Instagram ID Deepika's Travel Diaries so until next time stay tuned stay safe